Okay, we are going to be learning about functions, and uh, functions are used to split up the program into uh, smaller tasks, so um, the code is more maintainable. Um, so the syntax of a function is relatively simple. First we have uh, the access level, uh, we'll explain that later. This we're going to be dealing with in a later tutorial. And then we have the return type. Uh, when we run a function, it will return a variable, and that variable will be of this type. Then we have the function name, and then we have uh, different inputs. And uh, when you define a new input, you first define the type, and then the name of the input. Um, and we can have several inputs, for example, uh, a string or an integer or other stuff. Uh, so when we run the function up here, function there we go, the program will jump down here and um, the string variable input will have uh, the value world and the integer more input will have the value 0. Then we're going to construct the output, which is hello plus our input, that in this case is world. So output should read uh, hello world. And this string is returned by the function. Uh, so now text should be equal to the result of our function. So text should now be hello world. We're going to uh, print this to the console to check that uh, we know what we're doing. And it seems that we are. Do. Alright. Okay, so uh, what if we want to split up the program a little more? If we don't want to have all the code in one class or one file. What we do is we have uh, other files, other classes. We're going to go into it. And as you can see we have uh, two almost identical copies of uh, our function. And uh, the only difference is that one has the uh, access level public and the other one has the access level private. And uh, they are called something to indicate this. So one is called public function and this is called private function. This doesn't have any, any influence. You don't have to call a public function public name. You just, this is just a name and this is just a name. This is the important part. So um, public means that it is uh, visible to any other part of uh, the program and private means that it is only visible to uh, its own class. So uh, if we write code in here, we can use the private function, um, but anywhere else in the program we cannot see this. And we're going to illustrate that now. So instead of uh, writing simply function. We're going to write the class name which is functions dot public function. This is our function name and uh, you'll notice that the private function is uh, not here because we can't see it. We are outside of the class and therefore we can't see the uh, private function. So we're going to call the functions from uh, somewhere else in the program. Now instead of jumping down here, the program will jump into this class and uh, into the public function. The result should be the same, however. So we're going to test this. Yes, the result is the same. 